so Aztecs the Last Son is a city building strategy and city manager. We're going to go rule the great city state of Tenochtitlan as a bunch of Aztecs. So, kind of um, an Aztec focused city builder. This is by Play to Chill. Demos here on the Steam page. I don't know when it's coming out. Sometime soon. On behalf of the entire development team, we extend a warm welcome. All right. Hey, look, there they are. All right, let's go be some Aztecs and build some temples and um, maybe have a sacrifice or two. We played that Maya one, uh, what, a month or two ago? We didn't, we, we weren't allowed to have any sacrifices, and I was a little upset. So hopefully we'll have some, some heads rolling or whatever, you know? If I'm going to be an, if I'm going to build a city as an Aztec, I want to be an Aztec. Mm-mm. <clears throat> The fog means death. We must protect you as our advisor as our advisors. Newly elected Aztec monarch, uh Tlatoani, you looked at your advisors. How do we stop this accursed fog? We must use the power of our guiding deity, uh Witzlapak Yet gods require blood to operate. There's only one way. We must perform a blood sacrifice. Now that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. No options left. They headed to the temple mayor to perform an ancient ritual. It would dispel the fog, but for how long? Okay. Fog vanquished. Camera with WASD. Uh, let me uh, see if I can fix this a little. Oh, we don't have any options? There's some options over here. No. All right. There's some twists and turns. Hopefully, it'll smooth out here a little bit because it is super choppy. Okay, looks like it's getting a little better. Okay, build a woodcutter's outpost. We do that. Uh, wood is a resource. Yep. And there's our helpful tips. In our build panel. Let's go build a woodcutter outpost and we'll stash him in. Um, we'll put him in like right there, I guess. Okay. I know, we, we just came to this place, whipped up a, a, a pyramid and called it a day. Uh, assign five commoners. There we go. And select an area. They're going to go chop trees over... We'll look at these first. Seven trees over there. Oops. Okay. Uh, look, Tlatuani. The, uh, the woodcutters have already started delivering wood. Excellent. We need 25 wood. And how close can we get? That's about it. We've got a speed mode up here. As they live in the little huts. we got a fancy pyramid. we got water. And it looks like a port up there. Okay, let's build a cookhouse. We'll stash this guy like right over here. Assign some commoners over here and make some, some meals. Uh, we need some, a fisherman as well, so we'll get him whipped up. Um, let's put him in, can I put him like that? Oh, yeah, we can do that. Like that. And we'll get ourselves a road if we can. There's our... Um, Kalmakak Academy. It's, it's technology thing. There's a there's a Chlantly? Cantley Outpost. Uh, is this our road? There's our roads. Road. We got a mud raising to make buildable land, and we got a mud digging to remove land. All right, we'll just create a road here. Wait, why is it cost Coco to make that road? Ask Coco to make the road. Oh, you like putting the uh, fibers down or something? Uh, we want, what was it, three people working over here? And we fishermen in there. The Camel Cacti uh, Academy does, um, Calma Cacti Academy is, is tech. 
Okay, and you need a you need an area selected. So I said, Jay, say you. Oh, there's only one fish there. Well, maybe we should have fished somewhere else. There's two fish over there. Okay, one fish, two fish. Well, we'll get the two fish. Yeah. There they go. Scurrying out there to go get some fish. Excellent. Uh, quick house start production. Yeah. Make ten meals. Oh, he's got a, he's got a boat. Cool. The day of monkey has begun. Taxes have been collected. Oh, I love monkey day. I don't know if we should put it over. I don't really see the fish. I guess I see a little puddle of them there. Lots of animals around here, though. Okay, new commoners have arrived. We have some unemployed folks. We have one unemployed person. Build our structures. Uh, does, it, does it mean unhoused? Uh, oh, we'll get more people by building extra houses around. Okay. Let's we'll whip up some, some houses. Like that. Now uh, we'll give them a road. Like that. I wish we could zoom in a little, a little closer. That road will be done in seconds. And that house will be filled up in seconds. Um, are you good or are you out of trees? Is that what they're trying to tell me? I think it is. Yeah. That was quick. Okay. Well, we'll go tree up over there. Okay. Households will fill up with commoners over time. Uh, house population pay, pay cocoa tax once a day. Uh, more commoners means more funds and more works. Okay. Okay. Cost, okay. That's money. Right. That is a, that is a thing. Um, that's um. I know that was an Aztec thing, but I know it's, I know it was a, um, someone down there, Coco as a currency. Cacao. Um, uh, educated nobles have also arrived. Okay. New day's begun. Taxes have been collected. Okay, so we're going to go build a, one of them academies. So let's get one of those set up and we'll just, ooh, it's big. Doesn't fit where I want it to go, so we'll put it. Um, oh, choppy choppy. I don't want to ruin my trees. I have to like get a road going over here or something. Um, well, I guess I can go there. I don't want to say Maya. I'm just, I was thinking it was more like who, not Inca either. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It it may very well be, may may very well have been an Aztec thing. Okay, road's done. We're going to hire some folks in here. Two folks working over here. And let's produce. Uh, so you're turning, you're turning my currency into, into brains. Here we go. Some knowledge. Okay, gathering uh, knowledge requires funds in Coco. So we get mud by removing a piece. I'm just curious what this does. Can I see what it does? Like, Can we come over here and say... Oh, we can make a canal, and it'll just sort of widen the water. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of that, like, a lot of it, basically the history of of all those cultures, like, are, everything we know about them is from, from a Spanish point of view, conquistador point of view. So there's a lot of stuff we don't know about them. Uh, discover the stone miners outpost. Um, how do we get to tech? Where's our tech button? There it is. Okay, we got. Looks like we got blood and wisdom. Warfare, resources, food, and population. Uh, well, we'll build a. We'll go get the stone miners outpost. What's this bottom one here? Uh, engage an event near Templo Mayor. Refugees beg for your attention. Uh, they wait for you at the at here. Here. 
Okay, that's that clicks on that. Working like on the on the on the canal produces knowledge. Is that what it said? Uh, we're assets like you, Tlatuani. We have come from Colhuacan and need food and shelter. We have commoners who are able to work. Mm -hmm. Be careful, Tlatuani. Colhuacan is a hostile nation. They once exiled our tribe. Sianya and others turned their backs on us. Why should we care about traders now? Our food supplies are already low. We can't feed any more people. Tough choice, Zyanya. Why did you flee the Kohuacan? Dear Tlatuani, Kohuacan has been destroyed by the cursed fog, and we have knowledge, which can be useful to you, but only if you take us in. Sharing food with traders may enrage the population, yet rejecting knowledge can infuriate nobles. Tough decision lies ahead. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we, they are, can we take them in? We're in crisis ourselves, we won't help them. So if I do this, we get 15 people and 50 knowledge. We lose some trust though. Um, we acquire trust, but we lose a noble and some knowledge. Oh, we'll take them in. Come on in. What's the worst that can happen? Let's go get a, uh, the, the stone miners outpost is done, so I guess we can whip that up here. People are going to be hungry in a, in a minute. Let's throw this guy in. I'm guessing it's going to go there. Maybe we need to set it to the side of it. Hunger defeated. Oh, yeah? Hunger defeated. Um, let's take a couple houses in here. Oops. We want to get a road like that and like that. I don't really like that. That's kind of weird. I wish it wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, upgrade some upgrade some houses. How do we do that? Upgrade for some. What is that? That is stone. Okay. Yeah. Well, stone. Up. Yeah. Okay. I see what's going on. Folks over here. We're going to work on them rocks. Okay, it is how it works. Uh, acquire raw food, which we're waiting for the fisherman to do his thing. Maybe we need another fisherman? How about two fishermen? Because we're going to have people hanging around doing nothing. And let's get one over on this side of town. He can go live. Like, if we do that, we're going to ruin some of these rocks. Maybe he can live over here. Like that. Hunger has been defeated. Can I go that way? What if we were... Start next to the other road. What if I do that? What happens? It seems like it's going to work. Like they're going to dig on the water. More people, more better. That's right. You know, we're having a little bit of a food problem, but it'll be fixed in just a second. And I want you to fish where there's fish. There's six fish right here? Oh, we should be fishing here. Yeah, go get them fish. Lots of boats. Here we go. Okay, we have to discover the uh, the upgrade, which we do that at the tech tree. I want the... I don't want the stone miners upgrade. I want the... Um, House upgrade. There we go. Okay. So this fella can get upgraded. Upgrade that one. And we'll upgrade that one. My house was robbed by the homeless. I beg you to intervene. You calm down over there. How many homeless do we have? I'm missing... Like That's unemployed, not, not unhoused, right? Uh oh, food shortages. Two homeless commoners have laid their hands on nobles' property. What is your advice? Uh, we should punish them, but also give them a chance to make amends by working in the construction of the new households. Uh, dear Tatawani, if you go soft on them, then the others will think they can steal without consequence. Better enslave them and sell them to me for 200 cocoa. Outrageous. Homeless people will steal to survive if, they won't, if we don't help them. We should build households to eliminate the root cause of the problem. Okay. 
How do you solve the problem? Um, yeah, well, I think we'll I think we'll build some houses. I I I will have plenty of sacrifice time, but we'll get a couple houses. Let me slow this down a bit. Okay, so we want a uh, a house. See, those are are those done yet? I can't fit any more over here, can I? I can fit like one more, or maybe one bigger, big bigger building can go over there. So let's. Interesting that that worked. So let's just try to put in um, put a house there. I wish it was a little smoother. I wish I had some options to do some something with the graphics. That probably wouldn't affect anything though. A lot of these demos, not really the most optimized. Um, so it doesn't really matter what I do with the graphics. It still is kind of ugly. Oops, did I just, um, yeah, so I, um, I don't, hang on, this one, and I'll be there, okay, Who are you? Oh, Woodcutter Man, you're done. I guess she's gonna go... Ramajan over there. Hunger defeated. Okay, we built the two things. We gotta upgrade our cookhouse now. Which I think I need the tech for that first. So let's grab that. Fisherman and cookhouse upgrades. So we'll go ahead and get those. Can I get both of them? Yeah. We need 50 wood for that, which we got none right now. Hey, Skull, how's it going? Okay, we're going to speed it up again since we're not building anything. We'll let the trees come in here in a second. Is the stone going away? Assuming it is. Seems like everything is finite. House over there for you. We got tons of houses now. Okay, let's go ahead and get the cook house done first. As soon as we get our 50, we'll upgrade him. More taxes have been collected. You got plenty of money around here. Upgrade that fella and then upgrade what else? The fisherman. I think I want to upgrade this one over here. This one's the one that's that's got all the fish around. We'll get this guy done. He's 50 as well. And they have the, they all have their own boat. I'll see if they if, if it's finite or not. Um, we're in a low hunger state. Is that what's going on? Trust minus 30, because we're at level 1. The day's scooting by there. We'll keep on bringing some fish in. We're at level 2 now, Mike. Stream still going alright? My, my, um... Twitch thing just crashed. Uh, grateful for improvements. Everyone will get a meal now. Doom is approaching. Moon attack. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. You tell me. Have mercy. It's the doom. Activate the blood ritual. I'd love to. To the temple. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. The same happened to Kowakan. We must call the blood zone. Activate the blood zone. Open the temple mayor panel by clicking on the central building. Blood zone on. Where do I see this? Oh, on. Do 
we just sacrifice somebody? Is there something going on up here? Uh, Curse fog blocks expansion of our city, but blood beacons on the border dispel the fog and make more space for buildings. They're just up there doing some praying. Okay. Uh, so let's build some blood beacons. Discover it and build them. Okay. I'll build two of them. So the fog, you can kind of see that water's there. Um, I'm not sure which way we want to go. I'm kind of curious. Uh, can we put a road? That one worked over there. Can we just, if we wanted to put a road like, oh, it makes a bridge. Of course it does. That's great. We'll build over there. Of course we have bridges. We're Tenosolin. That's what we do. Um, yeah, production needs to happen. Bridges and canals and all kinds of good stuff. Um, the um, people are stealing resources because you have. Why? What happened? Uh oh. No there's, no, there's a road. What do you mean? Okay, it's fixed. So we want to make a blood beacon, which will set right there. There he goes, and he pushed away some fog. Good. Good job, buddy. Uh, give you, let me give you a little uh, little road there. Okay. Why does it keep going away? Oh, because we're out of food? Two fish. One fish, two fish. Over there. Um, I suppose I could upgrade you, but I don't know if that's really a good idea. But we do have a lack of food. People are starting to die because hunger is at its highest. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, let's make a... Well, we can't make any more fishermen because we don't have any wood. Woodman's doing his job. They're just being slow. Okay, the blood fountain is, is like, it's like a lot of blood coming out of there. Will you guys pray harder? Okay, we need a blood beacon again. We'll set this one over here. Maybe we'll find some more fish. Over there. Here we go. Expand our city, more beacons mean more space for our buildings. Okay, they don't appear to need roads. Uh, faced with difficult times, we need a storehouse to store resources. Okie doke. So we need tech for that, so we'll get some of that. Workshop, storehouse. Let me get some wood. Gather lots of stuff. Okay. He's working. Um, can we upgrade him? We can. We get a little bit. We need wood to upgrade the stone man to do more things. I guess at level. So he's bringing in one per hour. At level two, he brings in. Four? I'm not sure how that works. You guys actually getting trees? Doesn't say it's depleted, but we could do, though, is we can select our area and move it back here because we've got a new. Um, a new zone we can get to. Like over there. Okay. Let's go fast here. They'll go along. Um, as soon as we can, we'll get another, we'll get a, another fisherman. Because this is really the only food we can bring in right now. Uh, we can get the tech for this. Oh, uh, let's take a look. Maybe there's something else we can get here. Uh, it wants me to make the storehouse. But... I'm more like there's a farm there. I'm more interested in that. I think we can build Chinampa farms on the lake surrounding Tenochtitlan. Building these uh, new access to raw food, but we need all kinds of things. We need 
all kinds of stuff for that. So never mind. I'll begin. Okay. All right. Fine. We'll do the we'll do the storehouse. We'll do that, and as soon as we can, we'll upgrade this thing. So more, more wood will come in at least. People aren't dying quite as much. I need the um, oh, woodcutter's office needs to be upgraded. Tech, tech, there it is. Okay, now we upgrade you with a dad joke. So, um, sometimes when dads get older, they have to get their knees replaced. Fact of life. What do you call that replaced knee? You call it a faux knee. Phony. Phony. I'm telling you, the dad jokes, um, they just, they just haven't been hitting like they, uh, like they, like they normally do the last, uh, last few days, last week, last few weeks. <laughs> Sometimes I'll read them and I'll think, ah, oh, that sounds good. And then I say them out loud. They don't quite. The phony knee doesn't quite kick. Like, um. Oh, like, um. How does cereal pay for its bills? With checks. That's not, I don't know. <clears throat> checks is a cereal around here. I don't know if that's a. I don't know if that's an international thing or just an American thing. We're down to... Oh, we actually have food now. The cookhouse seems to be actually doing its job now. Good. Good. This stream brought to you by Chex. Yes. Chex, if you'd like to sponsor uh, a video, uh, I'm accepting sponsorships from cereal companies. We need 40 stone for that. The stone folks are doing the job. Uh, I'm going to get another... I don't think I need a cookhouse. I think another another food man. Because we're having some food man problems. So let's, let's get a um, fisherman... Now, we can like we try sticking them. I think there's fish over here. I don't know. Uh, let's put them over here. Yeah, he can go right there. We'll give him a road. Um, sure, like that. No checks in the UK, huh? Okay, fishermen, I want people to go work there. And I want you to hopefully get some fish over here. No fish over there? I was really hoping there'd be fish in this little pond over here. And there's a bunch of fish over here, so we'll do that. Okay. I think we do good until nighttime. Everyone goes home and eats, and then we don't have any food left. Oh, thanks, Stevasaurus. Okay, tax has begun. Um, our blood pool is 300. It says our blood pool is 312. We have no captives to fa sacrifice at the moment. I suppose we'll get some of those eventually. Um, I don't know that upgrading our houses does us anything. Other than maybe it gives us more money. Oh, yeah, because we're getting eight from the stone house. And we're getting four from that fella. And um, you can hold seven people now. So we should get a couple extra woodworkers. Can you hold more people now? You didn't get upgraded, but you over here did. Yeah, I'll get a couple more boats. Commoners are already working. We need to bring in new unemployed commoners by building some new households. I got plenty of households, buddy. Another one? I'm tempted to just re remove one and then, and then build it again. Because I got tons of them. Got a little hit of the demo there. There you go. Once it gets built, it should work. Hey, Harley, how's it going? Okay, so the five of you are out there scurrying about getting some stuff done. And I, I, I think maybe it might be a good idea to upgrade this as soon as we can. Okay, house done. People came in. We got to build that storehouse. Which, did I get the tech for it? Yeah. I just need a bit more stone.
stone man. There's only 16 of them there. There's no supply there for him, though. And over there. Those trees are getting chopped fast. I have to move them again. Already. Um, let's throw them. I can't right click and move. Over there. Did you eat all your fish? Oh, you did. Over there. <laughs> hey, Stevosaurus, thanks for the sub. A follow and a sub in one day? Steve, you spoil me. I think what I might do is build a... Well, we'll get the storehouse as soon as we can. And then we may think, I, might, I think I might do another stone man and stick him over here so we can get work on that. Because he just ain't getting things done. Or we just upgrade it. <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. It's interesting that this that has this whole this whole thing over here. Why can't we fish from there? Ocean something wrong with ocean fish? I apologize for being so choppy. I don't think I can. Wish there was something I could do about it, but it's not, not the smoothest thing. The day of doggo has begun. There's like a jaguar walking through my town. Why are the wood? Why are you guys not doing anything? Forty-five to upgrade you. I think. I think maybe that's what I want to do. What's with the guy sleeping there? She's whacking away on some stone. Hopefully it comes in. There it goes. Um, instead of building the storehouse, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this thing first. Oh, I can't. I have to go upgrade it. Who's that? Hey, Clara. Thanks for the raid. How's it going? We are, uh, we are Aztecs today. And, uh, there's been some, some sacrifices. It's been a little, they're not the most eventful sacrifices, though, so we're holding out for, for some of that. So stone workshop, what do you think a stone workshop would be? Also, for creation of building where stone will be processed into stone blocks. Ah, gotcha. So we gotta get some, some smarts before we can do anything with that. So. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's in the Steam, Steam, Steam Fest. There's just, there's so many demos. I don't know how you can keep up with all of them. Um, I certainly can't. But, um, yeah, we, I played one just a couple months ago. There was the, the, the Maya one. I played a bunch of Maya. And this one seems, seems to kind of follow the same idea. We do come with, with a, with a pyramid already. Uh, oh, the stone just went nutso. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's build, let's, where was it at? A storehouse. And we're going to put it... Oh, you know what we could do? We could, like, set it over here, and then we have to build a bridge to it, just because it'd be kind of neat to have bridges all over the place. So let's bridge over there, like... Like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Video games I try out. Have you ever considered cobbling together a website of some sort where you can write a short paragraph review of each game you play? I don't know. I've always, I've always avoided the the review thing. I've always, I've, it's always kind of like, I don't know. I never felt comfortable with reviews. I always be more. Like, my 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 purpose here is to is to just show you the game, try it out. We'll see how the game is together. Um, you can make up your own mind whether you like it if it's for you or not. Um, I don't see it as my place to go around like saying what. What I like and what I don't like. Um, I just try to find find stuff. That, I, everything I play, I try to everything I show on the YouTube channel. I try to find the good the things that I like and show off there. Yeah, I don't know. Whenever I watch other uh, like other similar um, indie game kind of things or any kind of anything, I'm not ever. Uh, I never enjoy. I just skip past the reviewy bits. Like if if the person that's playing the game has an opinion. I skip that bit because <laughs> I don't care what they think. 
<laughs> with our, you know. So, so I try to skip those bits. We need to find a way to get more captives. We cannot let the blood zone fail. On that note, let's get some captives. Uh, this There's a famous merchant in the city at the moment. He can offer us captives for gold. Bring this merchant to me. In the meantime, tell me more about him. Uh, a very open person, they say, and he likes you. He offers a fair prize in gold for captives. A lot of gold can be found in Texcoco Lake, our waters. Greetings, Klatoani. I hear you are in need of captives. For such a young and handsome ruler, I can offer you captives for 100 gold. I don't have any gold. I accept your offer, merchant. The blood zone requires sacrifices, and we need captives to make those sacrifices. Y you will get your gold. Okay. Acquire gold. I gotta go I gotta go dig up some gold. Okay. Uh, discover the gold miner's outpost, which is there. So we're gonna have to get that one first. And then over there. Okay. Uh, my my research folks don't seem to be doing much much work. Oh, I, they stopped. And that's why. Can I upgrade you? No. Okay. Yeah, I show the game, and you guys say, "I know I can do better than that," <laughs> and then you go out and buy it. Right? That's that's the whole. That's the whole, <laughs> that's the trick. <laughs> uh, build a wood workshop, reach some planks, and build a stone workshop. Those are the next jobs. And ooh, look at this place. This is pretty fancy. This looks almost like. Um, I don't know, fancy, like um, a little more modern. Okay, well, we've got the goal. We just got to get, oh, actually, I have tons of food now all of a sudden. Uh, we have tons of stone. We just need to get our, that stuff going. And I, I think what maybe what we would do is, ah, choppy choppy. Um, maybe we go see about... I don't know if I could build another one of these. How many nobles do I have? I don't know if I see that number anywhere. People are working. Blood, 284. 11 days till the apocalypse. This map looks... This looks more like a resort than anything else. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a resort if you... Uh, if, you if you don't mind... Uh, a little the, the occasional chanting at night... And uh, maybe maybe the occasional fountain of blood. Um, you know, other, other than that. Seems all right. Day nine. Oh, we're not even we're not even halfway to the to the apocalypse. All right, we'll be fine. How do we fend off the apocalypse? I think sacrifices is where that comes in. I think we, we might we might we might put those cages to use. Um, we're converting things into blood, and I notice we click on our temple here. We do have a we do have a have a pool of blood, and we use that to push back the fog, because this fog is sort of I guess sort of frost punk like, where it's encroaching, but instead of a big burning um, furnace, we've got a temple. Um, let's go chop down those trees over there. If I can click it, if I can click it. There we go. Have you really vacationed if there wasn't a fountain of blood? <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's speed this up. Uh, 50, I think is what we needed. Uh, stone workshop, we'll get that done. That, that makes us blocks, which we need to get to. And we need to get here, which needs 20 blocks and 20 planks. we got to make both. Where's the planks come from? Oh, here. Okay, we'll get that guy. And now we can get our way over there. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's set in... Where were they? Wood workshop? Why is everything gotta be so big? We'll just pop him down over there. We'll get him a road in a second. Uh, what was the other one? A stone man? Didn't I get a stone workshop? Did I get that tech? Oh. Here we go. And the gold miner's apples. Which we'll, that, we'll get that one in a second. I think a lot of the a lot of the tricky parts of this is trying to find like room, which is kind of neat because the national room was like was um, 
But that was the thing. It was like this fancy canal city and it was like crazy massive. Sacrifice chocolate for a month. How dare you? Chocolate? No, we're eating that. We're doing we're using that's our money. Uh we're up wood chopper will will consume planks, of course. Uh we'll get more trees over here. It seems like we chop those trees down real fast. Uh we need workers in the wood workshop and we need workers in the stone workshop. Start production. And you start production. What are you doing? Fisherman, are you out of fish? Oh, that's not good. Wait, no, you're not. Out of, you're not out of fish. No, right there. I'm not sure what the hunger deal, deal is because we have tons of tons of food laying around. There we go. Blocks and, and planks are coming in. We're gonna we're getting that real soon. Yeah, let's get that gold miner post. Okay. Let's slow it down here. And let's build a gold guy. Where's he gonna be at? Gold miner. I need uh, 30 of each. Okay, I don't even see gold on the map, so I don't know where we're gonna find that at. I if we need to go do some scouting. I know what that is. Let's put one in, like, right there. There we go. Okay, what is that? Oh, obsidian, huh? Okay, the, um... Gold Miner's Outpost. I don't know where gold is. So I'm just going to stash them in here and we'll figure out where the gold comes from. Maybe it just comes from the rivers. I doubt it. I'm sure there's something out there. Okay. Oh, yeah. He wants a road. Okay. Provides gold from deposits in water. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, And there is gold right there. Is there oh, there's a bit of gold. Oh, there's gold all over. Okay. Scoop up that gold. Okay. Acquire 100 gold. Let's do it. Two days begun. The apocalypse will be here in nine days. <laughs> we seem to be mostly fed. Uh, I actually might be able to make a farm now. I don't think we need. We don't need food now. But I might be able to get that get that done. It seems like the fish. Like like it seems to be. I wonder if it, if it will eventually run out. But I'm like I'm resetting the places that they go. That they go fish, but the thing's actually changing. Over there, cut some trees down, and and s oh, we didn't go through the stone mine though. So let's go get those stones over there. Uh, there's the there's the gold. Here you go, merchant. Uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you, Aztecs. I would truly wish the best to your newly acquired captives. Well, thanks. At least he's a nice, he's a nice bad man. Okay, now it's time. We must sacrifice the captives at the Templo Mayor. All right. Um, how many do you want me to sacrifice? Ten. Okay, this is this is the big this is the big question. Are we gonna see some? Are we gonna be Aztecs today? Oh my, we are. Oh my, what's going on over there? <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Alright. Praise on the <laughs> He's gonna leave him there? No, oh, there's another one. I think. He just fell he just fell over. Our land's very shallow, so he can use it to acquire mud. You can do this by digging mud around things. All right. Uh, yeah, we can do some of that. Join the show at the moment, but we'll dig some mud out. I think. Like that. All right. There he goes. Okay. 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 Well, that's what I wanted to see. I mean, I don't know if I wanted to see it, but... Oh, Mayan. No, no, no. Oh, my Aztec. There's some mud for us. People are a little hungry. I'm not entirely sure why, because we have plenty of food, but there's a bit of an issue with, uh, with hunger states. Probably, I'm sure that guy's hungry. Uh, no, no, God. Oh, I didn't want too, sh one too few. Okay, we'll dig that out there. We have, we have a giant blood pool now. Okay, we've acquired mud from the ground. Okay. What's Mr. Boatman doing? Island farm. Okay, build one of them fields that I wanted to do before. I'll do that. And we can get, hey, pineapples. Is pineapples a Aztec thing? Let's go, um, we'll clean these out over here, I suppose. Pineapples? So, uh, build the field and then discover pineapple cultivation or bean cultivation. Okay. So the farm, I think, made it sound like it needs to be in the water. I'll just set it up over... I guess I'll just set it there. It's a little close. Oh, you know what? So we got this, this hole over here. Let's see what we can do with it. Right there. I'm assuming it needs to be um, near the water or something. Uh, behind, we can't touch it behind, behind the temple. It's just sort of there. It's just a, a big dock and, and boats and things. It's where the cruise ships stop in, you know? We are just rolling through these trees. Again, yeah, it's, it's very choppy for me as well. some of these houses. Because these hold... These hold seven. The other ones hold held five. Pineapples are Central American. Think of Dole. I thought Dole... I thought it was just a Hawaiian thing. I thought they were like a Polynesian Hawaiian thing. But uh, I... Uh, I am wrong. Uh, oh, we need a road. Ro we need a road there. I built up. Speed this thing along.
<laughs> yeah, it should be Aztec pizza, not Hawaiian. <laughs> Okay, Jay is a monkey. All right. Uh, what do you want about? Oh, the stone's all picked up. All right, well, let me find you some more. There's not a whole lot around here. I guess we can put one over this way. Uh, well, there's those. What's with the lack of building here? Let me discover a pineapple or bean. Oh, we gotta pick one of these. We want beans or pineapples. Um, yeah, we'll do some... Pineapples grow slower than other crops, but they include more raw food. Well, we got some pineapples. Yeah. Here's yeah, what I was waiting for. So we can tell it to be a pineapple farm. I have the workers feel like, feel like going in there. Oh, our apocalypse got pushed back. Uh, oh wait, it's day three? We've been here a, longer, a lot longer than that. Maybe, maybe that... I don't know. Why isn't this getting built, though? Maybe it's been a year. Why isn't this being done? Maybe if I should remove, if I should remove it, and start it over again. We are in demo days, so things may be always possible. Things aren't working. Corn. I don't want corn. I want pineapples. We can go small, medium, or big. Let's go big. Create. Do I select it? I do select it. Okay. What's what's it taking? It's taking mud to make. Okay. Well, let's whip up some more mud then. Let's just grab some stuff from over here. So in a lot of languages, pineapples are called ananas, which comes from the Tupi people in the region of Brazil. Ah, okay. getting choppier. If that's possible. Okay, there's a bunch of mud for us, so now we can get this farm done. And, uh, pineapple. Uh, let's do like a, we'll do a medium one. I don't think we can fit the big guy in there. Now, where can I fit this thing? It needs to be on, on water. Oh, I can almost, okay, okay, so we can get it to fit if we were to chop away a little bit. Let's chop away this little... like that. And this just in case. Okay. I hear you guys like, um... like some pineapples. Yeah, right there. Except by the possibilities uh, offered by Chinapa Farm and Chinapa Fields. Me too. What does that say? We need more blood to appease the gods. Yes, yes, of course we do. You want more sacrifices? Okay. We need more resources to expand to Nostalin. Uh, these things will only be obtained in expeditions around the Valley of Mexico. 
We get to go and explore the world. In order to send expeditions, we need a departure ward. It's the final step. Yes. Departure ward. There it is. Build it. Okay, build one of these guys. Okay. I may have... Okay, build it. Um, let's go... He's kind of big. We'll put him right there. Okay, he's expensive. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's just a never ending. Trees, and what's this? Fish man. Go do fish things. Anyone else need need picking? Okay, we're good. Uh, Tlatani stood atop the departure world with Zianya, uh, Yaudl, and Koadl. With a heavy heart, he looked at his city. Ziania, Yaddle, and Quaddal. I'm grateful for all you've done for Tenochtitlan, but you've been my advisors. But most importantly, my friends. Without you, I wouldn't be the leader I am today. Oh, man, I'm feeling inspired. Thank you, Tlatawani. If it were not for you, I and my people might not have survived. You are now everything to me. Okay. It's been an honor to serve you, Tlatawani. You are now ready to win a war. I'm proud of all that you have accomplished, Tlatomani. But I know that our journey is not yet over. Don't tell me the demo's over. I want to go do some raiding. You're right. The Blood Moon is coming and we must stop it. We need the best highborns for future expeditions. Valley of Mexico is full of dangers. But by the uh, uh we will emerge victorious. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. Uh, with that, the four of them stood in silence, gazing out at the Kapuli departure ward, knowing that their journey it was only just beginning. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Rack. Don't tell me the demo's over. Okay, and engage in event. Okay. No! Uh, in the full game, you'll be able to expand and conquer the Valley of Mexico. <laughs> be introduced to unique heroes who will be leading your expedition groups. Canoes will be the very heart of resource management. Resources will be moved from place to place using them and the canals. Prove to everyone that you are the best and most capable ruler. Embark on a story campaign to prevent the forces of the moon goddess from bringing the end of the world. Add Aztecs the last sun to your wish list. Oh, I would have if I could have gotten the engage and embark. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's Aztecs the last son. I don't like to give opinions, so I won't. <laughs> but I really wanted to go and, and ex I wanted to go and, and go raiding, you know? Oh, look at that. Well, oh, it's just a different region. Yeah, I also need some video settings or something. I need some smoothness. Anyway, there's Aztecs Last Son. Uh demo here is uh is here. I don't know what's coming out. Sometime sometime soonish.